please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Bridge, it's been long and arduous for you as well. So uh, thanks for giving us uh, those details. But moving on, persons posing high financial risk to the economy may be stopped from foreign travel. The banking secretary headed panel has recommended amendments to the Passport Act. Sapna Das joins in now with all the details on that. Sapna, over to you. Hi, so this has been under discussion for quite some time and now we are given to understand that the panel headed by the DFS Secretary, uh, well, the recommendations have been submitted uh, to the Ministry of uh, Home Affairs. Um, obviously, MEA will also play a role in this. So coming very quickly to the number of the matter, uh, basically what it indicates is that, uh, you know, building up a kind of... Uh, uh, objective and, uh, uh, you know, a carefully designed criteria to kind of describe these kind of financial risks of, of persons posing a financial risk uh, in terms of, uh, you know, very high amounts to the economy. Uh, something probably needs to be done to advise them they should not uh, probably travel or they should stay back till the investigations are, uh, you know, completed. But the problem is that there is a bit of a lag uh, between the time that an NPA is identified and then investigations take place, you know, whether it's a willful defaulter, economic offender, fugitive economic offender. So there are various kinds of uh, categories that are built in. So basically to shorten this gap, it's a kind of a pre step that is being mulled over um, and, a, and a larger call will be taken on these recommendations to basically try and keep people back, uh, you know, who may pose a huge financial risk to the economy. And the important point to be watched out over here is that those prescribed uh, classifications, prescribed amounts are going to be sufficiently high so that there is no panic in the country right. on this front. But this right. is, uh,